big thing that we've been waiting for at Juma is, of course, the return of the buffalo. And Byron, a couple of days ago, got the largest herd we've seen in ages. But, Byron, I'm sorry to say that there are bigger herds of buffalo here, too. It's unbelievable the amount of animals that are here. And I'm very excited because, of course, there's even a couple of yellow-billed oxpeckers that are right, uh, jumping from buffalo to buffalo. We have to wait for that. Oh, I can just see it peeking over uh, sort of where its wither would be. There it is. How great is that? Now, because the buffalo hadn't returned at Juma, oh, we've obviously been waiting and very patiently for them to come back. Uh, and this was one of the exciting birds that we would have had an opportunity to see. They always hang around at the ends of the herds, but they're all around here. It's so cool. It's so nice to see them. I feel like even the buffalo are bigger here. <laughs> really, everything is just so much larger. And a lovely herd. Uh, there's probably about 40 of them or so. They're quite spread out now, but they've bulked up um, just in this little area over here, grazing around, also scanning, keeping an eye out for for lions. They don't want to be eaten too, but the lions seem to be preoccupied with other things. They're also, the pride of lions that we had have now gone to sleep, fast asleep, so we will follow up on them a little bit later they weren't successful in any of the attempts that they made but that means this evening they're only going to be more excited there's a juvenile too now it's quite easy to tell the difference between a red-billed oxpecker and a yellow-billed oxpecker firstly the beak of the yellow-billed oxpecker in my opinion is a lot more robust also a, a larger yellow base and they lack the yellow orbital ring that they have around their eye and of course you can see it's a juvenile because it's very playing in color not even its eye has turned red just yet and they also feed on different types of ticks compared to the red-billed oxpeckers they're going for more of the uh, large engorge engorge ticks that's what they prefer but how nice is that i love it i'm so happy to see buffalo it's so i can't tell you how amazing it is out here literally around every single corner there's animals but let me tell you you can definitely drive for half an hour and there'll be nothing on the open plains we're just very lucky we're not even far from camp we're right down just below Ngama Mara can you believe it and all of these animals around here the lions are there the buffalo are there the wildebeest the zebras birds you name it it is an absolutely beautiful beautiful spot there's a couple of wildebeest too and a few more buffalo here and there how awesome is that so they're still coming around this side but they'll graze this area down short as well. They, they seem to be working on it at the moment. It's still quite long. But once the, again, buffalo are really good at turning tall grasslands into shorter grasslands. Isn't that nice? So there we go, Byron. Not only are you doing birding in Juma, I'm finally having the opportunity to do a little bit my side. Seen some interesting birds. I haven't even had a chance just yet to go through them. But I suspect when we do find a pride this afternoon, a pride of lions, and we settle with them, if they're not getting up to too much, I will be pulling out my bird book and going through it and trying to figure out who on earth I've been seeing as we are driving around. But it could be quite exciting a little bit later today with the Ngama Pride. Um, so like Steph was saying, if there is any action, of course, keep an eye out on Facebook uh, because we definitely will be going live with those broadcasts throughout the day. But there's just animals everywhere. Every little black speck that you see on screen is an animal. Now, Shamsun, you say that the, not the red-billed oxpecker, the yellow-billed oxpecker, that's what this one is. There's number 79 on your bird list, your Mara bird list. Wow, goodness, Brent, 71, not even, not even 79, 71, sorry about that. Um, so that's very exciting, that's great to know. I don't even know what birds I've seen just yet in Mara, so I'm so behind, but I will get going. I couldn't even count how many birds I've seen in South Africa, can you believe it? But moving on we're going to move from these uh, buffalo now we're going to head and try and find a male lion that was we saw last night i'm going to send you across to byron and he's one step ahead of us he's got a lioness